Good evening, I'm Jeff Glor, and we're going to begin here tonight with what appears to be the final countdown to a vote. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell has scheduled a preliminary vote on Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court nomination tomorrow. Apparently confident he'll have the numbers for a final vote Saturday, even if that means the vice president potentially breaks a tie. Senators have been reading behind closed doors an FBI report on sexual misconduct accusations against Kavanaugh. Republicans say no corroboration was found. Democrats are not happy the FBI did not interview Kavanaugh nor his chief accuser, Christine Blasey Ford. President Trump tweeted, this is now the seventh time the FBI has investigated Judge Kavanaugh. If we made it 100, it would still not be good enough for the obstructionist Democrats. There were demonstrations today for and against Kavanaugh, and Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. As demonstrators filled every floor of a Senate office building and marched to the Supreme Court, senators filed in and out of this secure room in the Capitol basement that's off limits to cameras and normally reserved for national security briefings. It's the only place they were allowed to view the 46-page FBI report delivered to Congress in the middle of the night. There's no corroboration of Dr. Ford's allegations. The investigation was a sham. Republicans said the FBI did nine interviews and could not back up Christine Blasey Ford's claim that Brett Kavanaugh pinned her down and groped her at a high school gathering. Neither the Judiciary Committee nor the FBI could locate any third parties who can attest to any of these allegations. There was nothing new, no, no further corroboration. No Democrats corroboration. disputed that. In, in plain English, what I just read, uh, there are hints of misconduct. The most notable part of this report is what's not in it. She's As referring noted, to the fact that the FBI did not talk to Kavanaugh or Ford themselves. In a letter to the FBI director, Blasey Ford's lawyers called the investigation a stain on the process, listing a half dozen people the FBI declined to interview, people who Ford told about the assault prior to Judge Kavanaugh's nomination. In fact, it smacks of a whitewash. Republicans insisted they did not tie the FBI's hands. Can you explain to us how you came up with your list of who should be interviewed by the FBI? The FBI was requested to conduct an investigation into any and all credible current accusations. The FBI made the decision uh, from there as to who to interview. I think we're going to get arrested. Comedian Amy Schumer was among the hundreds detained by Capitol Police today after protesters unfurled giant banners in support of Blasey Ford. With the balance of the Supreme Court at stake, some protesters got more aggressive today. Don't you wave your hand at me. I wave my hand at you. Irritating their GOP targets. So, uh, so why don't we document water and see if he floats? Everyone looking for clues from the four remaining undecided senators, three Republicans and one Democrat. Susan Collins of Maine said today it appears to be a very thorough investigation. Arizona's Jeff Flake said it yielded no additional corroborating information for Ford's claim. Those comments left the president, traveling in Minneapolis, feeling bullish about Kavanaugh's chances. I think he's doing very well. The judge is doing well. All right, Nancy's in a spot where some protesters are gathered tonight. So, uh, so Nancy, what, what is next and when is the vote? Well, we're actually watching two votes. The first one will come tomorrow morning. It is a vote to end debate on Kavanaugh's nomination. That's why you've got protesters still here on the grounds of the U.S. Capitol tonight. And then, if all goes well for Republicans, they will hold a final vote to confirm Kavanaugh on Saturday so he can be seated on the Supreme Court next week. Nancy Cordes leading us off tonight. Nancy, thanks.